So over to the funding point, uh, let's pass on to Cara Cartwright, who's uh, uh, involved in the uh, Fast Followers uh, Net Zero Living uh, funding. Over to you, Cara. No problem, Gordon. And, and um, I'm really, really conscious of time, so um, I will gallop through. So, um, yeah, so the Net Zero Living Programme has been um, designed mainly from the learnings from PIFA and some of the programmes that we have been running and is very much focused on overcoming those non-technical barriers that you've heard about from the projects today. Um, if you move on, Tabitha. We've taken a lot of learning from the PwC report that Jody um, spoke about before and also uh, building on the learnings that uh, Becky just shared around taking that uh, place specific approach um, to, um, to, to accelerating our, our net zero transition. OK. Do you want to move on, Tabitha? So um, as Jody mentioned at the start, we have a £60 million three-year programme around uh, net zero living. Um, we have two work strands, Thriving Places, which is focusing on unlocking demand and is very much around supporting local authorities, given um, the, the role in terms of direct emissions and also important role as a convener. Um, and also we have a stream that we will be launching around user focused products, which is business focused and looking at how we can um, support um, supply of net zero um, products and services that are, are more tailored to that place specific approach. We're also wanting to run an international stream um, to, to make sure that we can um, benefit from our first mover advantage in the UK. OK. And so we've had loads about the barriers. I'm not going to dwell on this. Um, we've heard that, you know, key barriers um, around finance, uh, user engagement, skills, governance, policy, regulation. Um, our competitions are designed to cover these and and more. Um, the, the list uh, is much, much longer. And so um, they, we are certainly not limited by by these big four that have, have come from our learnings. OK. So in terms of the competition itself, we have a competition open at the moment, which is our Fast Followers competition. Um, I'll just flag it does close on the 1st of March. So there's just a couple of weeks um, left. And so we're wanting to fund um, 20 places across a two year period and up to £300,000 per place. And we've designed the fund uh, with two key um, elements of, of of activity. So um, in terms of that 300,000, we're looking at kind of up to around 150,000 would fund um, a, an officer role. Um, and so this is to help in terms of building some capacity. Um, we're wanting to provide to this role um, access to training modules. We'll have an active cohort who will um, get together to do peer learning. There'll be access to, to mentoring support. And through our Future Ready um, procurement stream, we'll be looking to um, provide access to, to other services, businesses, et cetera, who can help to um, deliver net zero objectives um, in, in those areas. And then the second part of the funding is to apply a lot of that learning to a real life programme or project that you currently have within your portfolios and looking at how to apply these innovative approaches um, to, to drive and accelerate um, net zero um, within your area. And um, at the end, we'll, we'll be reviewing outcomes for both project outcomes and there'll also be a report to be produced. OK. Um, all of the information is in the brief. It's for local authorities to um, apply if you want to just move on to the next slide. Um, and these are some of the criteria. You can take this away and, and read it in the in the post event information about um, the, the types of things that we're looking to test in the application. And if you just move on, there is a QR code that you can um, access our web pages, uh, sign up, find the Q&As and um, contact us if you want to find out more. Thank you, Cara, and sorry for rushing you. That's Apologies right. about that, but that, that's great. <laughs> it's really interesting. We've had a lot of interest from the councils that we work work with on that on that fund. So, just to finish up, then, uh, just we're just going to pop one more poll into the chat. So, we're uh, really interested to understand. Um, you've you, you've heard about SLES now. What we wanted to do is see if you thought that uh, energy smart places might be a more um, interesting title or a more uh, relevant title. So, we just want to answer that. But while we're, you're doing that. I'll hand over to Jody just to give us some closing remarks. Thanks, Jody.